So as you notice here, I have a fresh installation of VMware Workstation 12 Pro, and I am ready to install my very first virtual machine. I'm going to go ahead and install Windows 10. So I'm going to click on Create Virtual Machine, and I will just select the typical settings. So easiest way to do it. Now the first thing I need to do is browse to my ISO file. So I happen to know that for me that's under Documents and Software and Drivers, and I will find the Microsoft Windows 10 64-bit, and I'm going to use my first license. So here it is, and I will go ahead and select that. Now at this point, I'll choose Next, and it asks me for the license key. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to pause this video while I put in my license key and get past this screen. I will go ahead and type in my full name here, and then I will give it a password, a nice complex password, because that is going to be the information that it uses in the Sun of 10 file to finish the installation. Let me put you on hold while I put in my product key. So at this point, I've put in my product key, and I want to give this a good virtual machine name. So I'm actually going to install this into an Active Directory network. So I'm going to call it MIIM, as in master it in minutes. And it's going to be a desktop version, or I can say laptop, LPT, laptop version 0001. So that's going to be the virtual machine name. And then I might put in here Windows 10 Pro 64-bit, just so I know what the operating system is. Now, normally in Active Directory, you would just use a simple computer name. So I'm going to go ahead and say Next. If you notice, it's going to install in the default location, which is in my documents. I like to always use store the virtual disk as a single file. This doesn't make it easier for transferring, but I don't plan on transferring this virtual machine. Here is the information. The one thing that I will do during installation, although I may not keep it there, is I'll install using, you know, 8 gigs since I have 16 gigs on this machine. So I'll go ahead and accept that and I will close that out. So if you notice, there's 8 gigs and I'll choose finish. So at this point, it's going to go ahead and create the virtual disk. It'll instantiate and begin to open the uh, Windows install window for me to watch the install. And as you'll see, it's going ahead and beginning the install of my virtual machine. So at this point, um, you know, we can go ahead and leave this up. It's going to complete the setup. And I will pause as it goes through each portion. Here, because of the license key I put in, it knows that it's Windows 10 Pro. I'm going to go ahead and select Next. And it'll go through and copy the Windows files. Once it copies the Windows files, it'll get them ready for installation. It'll install the features, basic updates, and finish up. I'll go ahead and pause while it does this portion here. So let's come back. We can see that it's progressing nicely into getting the files ready for installation. It's now installing features. It'll install the base updates. Of course, when we're finished, we want to first and foremost go out, connect it to the web. I'm running this virtual machine in NAT, so I'll be able to connect through my uh, physical machine's internet connection and do the update. So as you can see, it's going ahead and restarting the machine. I'm going to choose Restart Now. Don't need to wait for it, and it'll restart the machine. It goes ahead and starts up Windows to finish the installation and configuration. It's getting devices ready. At this point, it'll go ahead and get Windows ready and do a restart. At this point, it'll finish the basic install You've pretty much seen the entire installation here. It'll go through. It won't take long. It's going to set up apps. It's going to get everything ready for me to log in the first time. I'll go ahead and pause while it finishes this. I'll log in, and we'll call this a completed installation. 
as you can see, it's going ahead and adjusting the resolution to fit my VMware screen. It's restarting for what should be the last time to bring up the login screen. Looks like it's rebooting up. And here's the login screen. So I'll go ahead and I'll activate in. I'll put in my complex password and it will log me in for the first time to my Windows 10 virtual machine. There we are. So at this point, I'll go ahead and attach it to the network and then do all of the appropriate updates for my virtual machine. Take care and have a great day.